Hello there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make knit and linen fabrics from scratch inside of Photoshop. So let's get started. So today I want to go over how to make two quick cloth textures. Uh, these are great for crafts, sewing, DIY, fashion, home decorating, and so much more. The first one that we're going to do is this one right here. It's a base linen texture. Just a simple texture. I'm going to zoom in so you can see this up close. So it's just a cross hatch, very simple texture. And then the second one that I'll show you is this right here. This is uh, more of a tweed or cotton, but you can adjust this one to create a jersey knit as well. Okay, so we're going to get started with a new file. And our new document is going to be a 3000 pixel by 3000 pixel uh, 72 resolution RGB mode 8 bit. Make sure you have it on 8 bit. And our we're going to use a white background. Click create. Go ahead and click on the little lock icon there to unlock the layer. And now we're going to start with this color right here, which is F5D294. That's going to be our base color. So we'll click OK. I'm going to press X to put that in the background. Command and delete or control and backspace on the PC to get that color in there. Now we're just going to come in and add a a noise filter to it so you'll come up to filter noise add noise and we're gonna leave ours about 40% you can increase the noise for a stronger streak streaked look uh, or you can lower it if you want a more subtle effect so we're gonna keep ours right around 40% uniform distribution monochromatic is checked off click OK and now you've got something like a two-toned, uh, almost like a glitter. We're going to go back into filters. And this time we're going to go to blur. And then motion blur. So we're going to add a, an angle of 90 degrees. It's just an up and down. Um, our distance will be about 90 pixels. And you can make it... Uh, stronger or you can make it less pronounced. We'll make ours at 90. Click OK. And now uh, once we have this layer set up, we're going to right click and duplicate this layer. So we'll have two. With this top layer, we're going to come up to edit, transform, and we're going to rotate it to 90 degrees. So we have this right here a zero degree axis horizontal and then we also have the vertical behind it we're gonna take the actually we'll take the opacity down to about 50 percent on this so you can see both and that's pretty much all there is to it i'm gonna zoom in again so you can take a look at that uh, but you have the full texture you can see the cross hatching in there again if you want a stronger look, you'll add more noise and then you can change the variation of the cross hatching by changing the length of your motion blur. Once you have this set up, all you have to do is grab both of these layers. You'll hold the shift key and then grab the top and bottom command E or control E to turn that into one layer and then export the layer. Okay, so that was our first fabric texture. This is the linen texture. And next we're going to work on something that looks more like tweed. Okay, so now that we have that first one down, we're going to add a new layer here. This is going to be our tweed or our, our knit uh, fabric. So we're going to change this color here. We're going to be using a like a red color um, and that is going to be A70707. This is going to be our base color for this and then the top color we're going to use something that's pretty dark. This is going to be the the um, 
shadow or the the darker areas of our our fabric and this is 272727 click OK so we want it to be dark but not um, absolute black we're gonna go ahead and fill this layer with this bottom color control uh, command delete or control backspace to fill that with that red color now we're gonna add a filter to this so we'll come up to filter and we're gonna go to sketch and half tone pattern now this is gonna be a very subtle pattern so uh, you might want this style for uh, maybe like a, a jersey knit or something that's much finer uh, maybe I would leave the size at one or two uh, for us we're gonna bump it up a little bit we're gonna take it to four and we're gonna leave our contrast at five and again pattern type is uh, line click OK so you can see that it's not very big I'm gonna zoom into this so that you can see it this is at about 66 67 percent right there so this is our first layer now we're going to go to if you hit hold down the option key on your keyboard or your alt key and then drag you'll get another layer here or you can right click and duplicate layer either way so we have two copies of this layer one is going to be our horizontal and one is going to be our vertical layer with this top layer selected we're going to come back up to filter and we're going to add some noise so filter noise add noise and our noise is going to be uh, for the top layer about 25 percent distribution is uniform and make sure that monochromatic is selected click ok okay so with the noise added what i'm going to do is actually um, change the direction of this so come up to edit transform and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees so we do want this to be a vertical pattern so we're going to go back up to filter now and we're going to do blur motion blur but we need this motion blur to go uh, 90 degrees so right now it's in a horizontal uh, we need it to be 90 degrees vertical our distance is five pixels click OK and that's going to give us kind of like a yarn um, effect now we're going to turn that layer off and we're going to come to the horizontal layer and do the exact same thing we're going to come to filter noise add noise uh, this one we're going to give it a little bit more noise because it's on the bottom we're going to do distribution uniform make sure to check off monochromatic click OK and now we'll go back up into the filters and we're going to do blur motion blur this time we do want it to be horizontal so we're doing our angle at zero degrees distance five pixels and again if you want more you can maybe do a 10 um, and that's fine I'm going to leave mine at five click OK okay so now we have the two sections we're going to turn this one back on and we're going to change the opacity of the layer to 50 percent so this darker color is giving this fabric a little bit of depth so if you create this if you're trying to get a, a jersey knit style and you need it to be a very fine uh, texture then of course you just come down on your scale to two when you're uh, creating your half tone lines so they those would just be scaled down to one or two just to give you a very fine uh, jersey knit and then of course just like with the uh, linen texture you'll just grab both hold down the shift key and the other layer command or control plus the letter e and you've got your two textures now so you've got this one and you've got a knit fabric texture or tweed style texture and as always i have created a digital paper pack that you can download from prettywebs.com so if you go to the shop of course i will have a pack of uh, different colored tweed and different color um, linen texture backgrounds that you can grab for free on the website inside the shop 
I hope you liked this video and you found it valuable. If you did, please like this video, share the video, and of course subscribe. Also make sure you head over to prettywebs.com to grab those free digital paper packs. Until next time, thanks for watching.